um, this is my 6700 XT mining rig. It has um, 867 XT. So we have um, six of the nitro, sapphire nitro plus. And then the seventh and eighth are the Asus ROG Strix 67 XT. So total we have eight. And here I'm using a B250 Mining Expert motherboard. So um, what I would like to um, tackle today is that I had problems uh, when I started setting up this mining rig. So the problem was when I put the fifth GPU, then the boot up um, started to get slow. So I wait, I wait for around 15 to 25 minutes just to um, wait for the Windows 10 boot up. And so uh, at first I thought that the problem was the uh, operating system which is the Windows 10 because it wasn't activated and what I did I reinstalled the I reinstalled the uh, operating system and then tried to install all the application again and again so I did that twice so it took me so long to do it and and then um, I started to put up the, all the GPUs so as you can see I started from the top until here so okay so and then um, the problem um, of course when I put the sixth GPU so um, the boot up is very slow and I thought there was a problem with my risers um, so I tried to change all the risers and switch uh, switch the slot where it is um, connected then I tried to troubleshoot with this um, splitters so I thought there was a problem with my splitters so um, then um, later on I found out that um, the risers are good are okay and also the splitters are okay mm -hmm. so the big question is why does Windows 10 is having a problem when booting up uh, if you have um, at least five or six GPUs? So this happens with my B250 motherboard. So we the mining expert motherboard. So as you can see, um, we have available up to 19 slots. So Technically, it should not have a problem with putting up a uh, more than six GPU. Then um, I let it run for only six GPU, and the next day I tried it again. So um, I tried to find in Google and research what's the problem. So it turns out the problem was uh, because of this. AMD feature the ULPS so um, ULPS stands for ultra power saver so this feature of AMD will have a problem with Windows 10 so I, I'm not sure if this happens with uh, Linux and the Hive OS so this um, remember guys um, I am using B250 mining expert motherboard and uh, 867 XT AMD Radeon so so I don't know if this happens with other AMD but um, I, I think it could happen also because um, the article says that ULPS will have a big problem with Windows 10 it will slow down the boot up process alright guys so um, today we will be discussing about the solution on how we can um, load more than five AMD GPUs into the B250 Mining Expert motherboard. So a lot of people are having problem with this um, case. 
so especially if you are using Windows 10 operating system I'm using the Phoenix Miner 5C okay and if you would like to know the overclock of this um, um, graphics card um, you can check on my channel and look for the 6700 XT hash rate okay so enough for this so let me show you how did I uh, ended up um, making all the 8 GPUs running in the B250 mining expert motherboard so first thing I did is um, I look for a uh, solution like uh, let's say um, B250 mining expert no GPU stuff so I read a lot of um, articles in reddit um, like uh, in different forums and I didn't see any exact answers so I, I tried to dig more so the main problem is the AMD um, feature this feature is called the ULPS so um, so so U ULPS stands for ultra low power state so this is the main reason why your Windows OS doesn't boot properly after you put um, the fifth or sixth or seventh uh, GPU because of this feature so it says in here ULPS is an initialism used by AMD to refer to ultra low power state and is the feature that can lead to the this slow slow boot problem it says here ULPS disables the second GPU when idle this is a feature of AMD GPUs which are in a multi GPU crossfire configuration as you know uh, we are, since we are mining so we are using multi GPU configuration so while this is a great feature to lower power use it unfortunately causes some problems in Windows 10 so the solution now is to disable the ULPS so there are different ways on how to disable the ULP ULPS so if you are not that too technical and you don't want to be touching some code or going to the uh, command prompt so I think this uh, website will, uh, will be the best um, solution for you so let's open it so first uh, okay so it says how to disable ULP ULPS on AMD Crossfire setups so so guys um, if you want to try this out um, you can try it in your Windows system so just follow these steps um, uh, for me I am more comfortable using a script so how do we do the script so here we have AMD compute stability version 2 compute mode or okay so here we have uh, links so if you just type that um, keyword in Google you will likely find this results so let me just describe to and click for this download link and here you can download Is this the version 2? Okay. Download. That's the version 1. Okay. And that's the version 2. Okay. Let's go to the fo downloads folder. And. Okay. So. Let's extract this extract all okay here we have the script so as you can see guys um, we have the readme the compute and stability we'll be only focusing on the stability script here so if you are interested to see the codes um, you can open it and read it and do some uh, modifications whenever uh, modifications if you want to but I would suggest don't 
touch anything so this script will just um, help us to disable the ULPS of the Windows 10 so okay so let's jump into the readme and follow the instruction so let me just so close this one okay so first step is unzip the files to a folder which we already did second step is open a command prompt as an administrator let's find the command prompt right click and run as administrator click yes okay so we have our command prompt so next is um next is number three once inside the command prompt type powershell so powershell okay and number four once in powershell mode so as you can see we have we can confirm that we are in a powershell mode so so there's another way how to open a powershell instead of using um, command prompt we can just uh, open powershell our windows powershell and then right click run as administrator so when you run that so you've opened the powershell this powershell state is the same with this uh, command prompt so i'll ju I just show you how to do it in a simpler way so since we did a simpler way let's just close the other one so it's, since it's the same okay let's change the font so you can see So number four, once I'm in PowerShell mode, type PowerShell execution policy unrestricted. unrestricted. Okay. So PowerShell dash execution policy unrestricted. And enter. Okay. We're good. We're good to go with this one. And next is type this to run compute script. Um, we will be um, skipping this part because uh, 6700 XT doesn't need to be in compute mode. So if you have um, AMD RX 580 graphics card and uh, 4, 480, 470, 570, you will need this. Okay, so we skip this uh, compute script we will be doing the stability script instead so this stability script will disable the ULPS feature of AMD first is you issue the word PowerShell and then no exit let's just type it PowerShell PowerShell dash no exit and then this is the path of the script so in this case this is just an example and it says here you can see I added uh, this one backhoe before each single as its space in the path you will need to add the single uh, backhoe before every space in your path for this to work PowerShell cannot have spaces in the path okay so Let's go back to the path so here I will just copy the path uh, right click I uh, and then backslash and then the stability script is stability.ps1 so uh, first we will just try without the uh, back single code and see what happens okay let's enter so it says it is not recognized okay this part is not recognized because the problem is that is we did not um, put a single back code before the um, space so let's go back okay so i think that's all then we can press enter hmm what's the problem oh okay so guys we're missing the single code single code 
from the start and the end okay enter here you go guys so let's just run it okay so there's a menu here it says press 1 for turn off the ULCFAL and ULPS so this will add stability to AMD GPUs so we have two to turn on if you want to go back um, doing some games so uh, just use your PC for personal use and nine to check the status so let me just press nine to check the status of all the GPUs okay so as you can see guys I already uh, disabled all the CFAL and ULP ULPS for all GPUs what you need to do guys is to put up the first four GPUs first after you put the first four GPUs then do the script and then after that you do it in every GPU you add so that you don't um, experience that slowness or input so for safety what I did is load I put the first four GPU in my rig then I run this script disable the ULPS and then reboot um, sh I mean shut down uh, put the GP fifth GPU and then turn on the rig then run the script again um, disable the fifth GPUs um, ULPS and then um, shut down again and then put the six and so on and so on and so on until I get up to a up to the uh, eight GPU so okay so if you want to enable it run run it and then press R then just press one okay. So this is the result. It says, yeah, okay. So GPU zero is the Intel, okay. That's the Intel, so it doesn't need any modes. So you can see the result of um, uh, doing uh, running the script. It says it's already disabled. Two disabled. Set for mining. Set for mining. Yeah, and so on and so on. Guys, um, let me know uh, if you have any comments or questions. Um, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my video. And again, thank you very much for watching the video. And happy mining.